My name's Tim Hamill. I'm an artist here in Calgary, and I work in a genre called steampunk science fiction. Don't know what turned me into an artist, because I started when I was three, drawing on furniture and walls and things like that with crayons, and just all through school, high school, art classes and art projects. Out of school, went to art school, so did painting, sculpture, graphic design. Went into the work world as a graphic designer, uh, doing trade show booths, displays, graphic design. What got me into the steampunk science fiction was I'd been a collector of junk for many years. I can show you my piles of junk that I collect. and I saw this somewhere and I thought, I can do that with what I've got. So it kind of was the two things came together and this is what I decided to explore now. Is the steampunk science fiction using up all the junk I've collected and making them purposeful and kind of funky, I hope. <laughs> steampunk is neat for me because I like the different textures and materials that I can put into it. It's not all machined aluminum and sleek and polished. It's got, you know, rusty old screws and old wood and bits of brass and copper. And it's tarnished and bent and dinged. And I just like the appeal of those textures and colors and the way they go together and the forms that they take on when I'm making my stuff, my art. <laughs> Some people would call this found object art, which is where you go out and find different things and then do a mashup of trying to make something out of it, almost like a folk art piece. And so I'm doing that with, with a more fantasy science fiction flavor. What's cool about steampunk for me is it's inspired by Jules Verne old-fashioned science fiction -y rather than the sleek science fiction -y stuff. Uh, sometimes it can be kind of clunky or whimsical looking because um, there's not really any attempt at making an actual thing, but it looks like it might have been an actual thing from way back then. Uh, so it's just a mixture of that. Um, sort of the, the anti-slickness of it, I guess, appeals to me. And what I'm doing is more in the line of what would be called a folk art, because I'm not recreating any specific actual thing. I'm just making things up as I go along. And for me, that's cool, because I, I have no rules now. I can do whatever I want as long as it kind of looks like something that could exist possibly, you know. The end satisfaction I get is getting to be creative in a different way rather than sitting and thinking, what am I going to draw? You know, you get that kind of block sometimes happening. So it just frees me up to be creative in a different way.